WFAA has live team coverage of the ruling, starting with senior political reporter Jason Whiteley. So, Jason, what does it mean for Texans? Well, Cynthia and Chris, both sides really have a lot planned right now, and Republicans tell us they are planning to further tighten abortion laws in the state. Texas Democrats say they hope today's landmark decision, as we just heard there a moment ago, they hope that drives people to go vote in November. You know, we expected this decision today. Remember, a draft of it was leaked last month, and today's ruling, all 213 pages of it, not that much different from that draft leak. So tonight, abortion is illegal in this state. Texas reverts back to laws that were on the books before the 1973 Roe decision from SCOTUS. Those laws were never repealed and become enforceable again immediately. And politically speaking, Texas Democrats really don't have a lot of options to change that. Well, people need to know that elections have consequences. When we elect people who put uh, those in place who don't share our views, this is what happens. We get policy that is not helpful, that limits our access. So hopefully people will look at the situation and say, I'm going to vote. So hopefully Friday's decision is a wake up call. It's got to be. So with abortion now illegal in Texas, it is up to local district attorneys in our state, all 254 of them, to prosecute doctors who perform the procedure. And in Dallas County, District Attorney John Cruzo said he's not going to do that. Cruzo is a Democrat, and Texas prosecutors have always had wide discretion in which laws they enforce. But Republican State Representative Briscoe Cain from Houston tells me that is an issue the legislature will have to address. So, of course, it's up to local DAs whether they prosecute these crimes. And we've been in discussions with ideas of whether we allow, you know, neighboring DAs to prosecute these crimes if that DA says they're not going to. So there's ideas like that on, on how to do it and also to go after those accomplices, those assisting others in getting abortions maybe outside of this state. About 20 minutes ago, the Tarrant County DA Sharon Wilson said her office will enforce Texas law, this being the latest Texas law as well. You know, Republicans, evangelicals, Christian conservatives, they have spent decades praying for this day to come and they are ecstatic about the ruling. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson even making this day a holiday in his office, Cynthia. All right, well, Jason, you know, we've seen a lot of businesses reacting to the ruling today in terms of helping those employees who want an abortion. Is this something Texas lawmakers can stop? You, they're gonna try to stop it. Justice Kavanaugh, Republican, uh, said today that he thinks that, that, you know, states that try to do this might violate the Interstate Commerce Clause. That was not an official opinion of the Supreme Court, just something that he said today. Representative Kane that we talked to said, despite that, he still thinks there are ways that he will try to make that state law in January when they re, uh, re reconvene in Austin.